Slap some bacon on a biscuit and let's go. We're burning daylight. It's the world of change. A world gone wacky. Out here, due process is a bullet. And some of the scariest people on the planet. On the planet. I think you're bluffing. Be afraid. You know, you look mighty pretty when you get mad. It's your odd news on KCHW. Just, just, just sit back and enjoy the show. Yeah, sit back and enjoy the show. <laughs> Scott and Gene, the odd news. Started off with some poor planning. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. And my coffee's way over there. Oh, that was really bad. Oh, hey, 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 Scott. Yeah? Look. Oh, oh, you're just evil. She has coffee right beside her. <laughs> wow. Hey, hey, Jean. Uh, yes? Uh, uh, what does this sound like? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, <laughs> um, do I have to say? Yeah. Uh, Sounds kind of like this. Not right now. You not can really. wait. Okay, just hold on to that sound okay. effect, though. Okay, okay. Hold on to it. <laughs> just think about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think I'm ready to go now. Okay. <laughs> Moving on before we degrade. All right. First up, <laughs> Nicki Minaj, Taylor Swift feud. I think we just degraded. Uh, officially over. <laughs> the feud is officially over. Really? Yes. They've agreed to loosen travel restrictions and reopen their respective embassies. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows where they are, though. No more chick fight, huh? <sighs> oh, man. You know, I'd pay money to see that, but, but Taylor Swift's so going down. <laughs> she doesn't she stand is. a chance. Well, yeah, because Nicki Minaj can just sit on her. Yeah, unless, <laughs> unless they both stop and go, ah, I broke a nail. I broke a nail, too. <laughs> yeah, that's probably the way it would go, right? No, Nicki Minaj would probably be like, and I lost it in your eye. <laughs> I broke a nail. Yeah, and it's in your face. Yeah. Okay. I, <laughs> yeah, like I, I could see her totally like just that. like whomping on Taylor Swift. Yeah I, yeah, I wish they could have just, you know, took that feud to another level. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like that. And that's exactly what they would sound like for me, too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. All right. Here we go. New Dr. Seuss book. Oh, really? Yes. Dr. Seuss's What Pet Should I Get is available beginning today. What Pet Should I Get? Yes. It was written over 50 years ago and rediscovered in 2013. Oh. It took them that long to print it. <laughs> what Pet Should I Get follows the brother and sister team that we first met in One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish. As they visit a pet store. That's why I used to read it to my kid, too. One fish, two fish, blue fish, blue fish. I'm surprised they didn't make it politically correct and make it a, a uh, shelter <laughs> instead of a pet store. Yeah. They visit the pet <laughs> shelter and struggle to choose an animal to take home. One that will uh, be ecology friendly. Uh, or something like this. The only good cat is a stir fried cat. Oh, <laughs> run away, Mooch, run away. She's she's sleeping yeah. soundly. We we brought the cat bed in today and and uh, put it on the couch and she's uh, quite comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. We'll no more it. screeching from across yeah. the station. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> Tour de France. The cycles. You know, this is always have some problem. Remember a couple weeks ago when I showed the thirty bicycle pile up? Oh my gosh! <laughs> it was yeah. awesome. It was. I mean, people was were epic. hurting stuff, but yeah, it was an <laughs> epic car. Twisted, mangled bicycles everywhere. You just wouldn't expect a bicycle pile up to go so wrong. Uh, but no. It's so cool. It, it's like worse. <laughs> In a highway pile up. Man, I could just like rewind that video over and over and over well, again. What's, what's fun about it though is when the, when the bicyclists go flying, it's like arms and legs are going oh, everywhere yeah. and they're oh, and oh. chains and sprockets. <laughs> One guy had a sprocket in his head. <laughs> okay, he didn't, but how cool would have that been? <laughs> <laughs> At least stuck in his helmet. Okay, I'm just wrong, aren't I? <laughs> yes, you are. Uh, Moving on. But, uh, the Tour de France ended on Sunday. British cyclist won. And while drug tests have been around for years, cycling officials this year checked riders for hidden motors on four different occasions. Hidden motors? Hidden motors to help the bike move along, you know, because <gasps> they have the little bicycle motors. Hidden really? Motors. Seriously? Yes. Oh, I had my no question, idea. My <laughs> question. What? Can you imagine what my next question is? I'm afraid to ask. <laughs> Where would you hide the motor? <laughs> <laughs> You're on a bicycle. <laughs> There's only so many places to hide the motor. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. Jean is thinking about it because she's turning beet red. Is this where the yeah. sound effects <laughs> come from? This is where the sound effects come from. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
not a propane bike. <laughs> no. Okay. No. Where do you hide? If you're a biker and you've got a hidden motor, where do you hide it? <laughs> okay, I won't make you answer. You can't. You can't handle it. No. She. Is, I hope you're watching the webcam because she is like, she looks like a stop sign. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here, could you rub my butt? Could you rub it, please? Rub my butt. Back here, rub my butt. <laughs> Please rub my butt. <laughs> That's where you hide the motor. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> I was going to say keep away, but that's wrong. Okay. Let's okay. move on quickly. <laughs> quickly. Ah, former 41-pound cat, fat cat, slims down to 19 pounds. Wow. The Dallas cat named Skinny. It's going to make Mooch look fat now. I know. Skinny's lost more than half his weight. The former 41-pounder is down to 19 pounds. Dr. Brittany Barton says the orange tabby she has adopted on two th in 2013 slimmed down with exercise. That's a kiddie treadmill to you and me. Wow. And a special diet. So look up the cat named Skinny on YouTube. Poor wow. Mooch. You know what's going to happen to you now? i got to go check it out, see see what, the, what that diet is like. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling it's a lot of um, um, coughing and, and eating. and You know how cats regurgitate. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like an asthma attack. <laughs> After the Tour de France. <laughs> oh. Is that where you were hiding the motor? <laughs> oh, that is nasty. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is fun. All right, more yeah. fun. Wacky but true. Human corpse. <laughs> and over Michigan is the place. Someone called police to report that there was an item on the side of the road that looked like a human torso. Ew. Oh, that's just the middle part to please, you and me. Please tell me You're it was like just the upper a middle. cadaver. No, officers were reporting that it was, in fact, a brisket. What's cooking, Doc? <laughs> a brisket. It was a hunk of beef. It was a hunk of beef. <laughs> not a human torso. Hunk of, hunk of beef, baby. Once again, I'm disappointed <laughs> by the news. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I love this next guy. Something I always wanted to do at Cattails. A man uh, facing charges after he taped himself, hopping the fence at the Columbus Zoo to pet the cougars. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he says he now regrets his actions. Oh, you think? Yes. Meow. And he only has one arm to prove it. No, he's got both of his arms. Oh, darn. Josh Newell, 35, facing <laughs> criminal trespassing charges after a video he posted on YouTube revealed he had jumped a fence at a cougar exhibit to pet the mountain lions. That was a very bad decision, he told <laughs> local TV. He says, if I had to do it all over again, I definitely would have stayed within the barrier boundaries. Yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. <laughs> he said, I was thinking I'm an animal lover. Cats were looking like they wanted some love. <laughs> they wanted some dinner. You just provided so, meal on the go. No, no. He jumped over the he jumped over the fence and began to pet the cougars and they loved it. Oh yeah. really? Yeah, they're totally cool with it. Oh. Yeah. They Man, loved it. that just ruined the story. Yeah, I, I wanted know. them to pounce know, on him. I know, I know. And then have them like hawk up his head like a hairball. Uh, I know. I'm going to give the people what they want. Sensation. Horror, shock. Send them out in the streets to tell their friends how wonderful it is to be scared to death. <laughs> you sicko, Gene. You're just a sicko. That sounds fun, actually. Uh, <laughs> how wonderful it is to be scared to right. death. That's right. So, yes, Azu said the animals Newell interacted with were geriatric, used to being around humans, loved the attention. They were geriatrics. Oh, what uh, a politically correct way of saying they were aged. <laughs> They were old. They were old fogey lions. <laughs> oh, no. I'm so politically incorrect. <laughs> they should have been in my family I, reunion. I've been you taking, see a bunch I've been, of that. I've been taking some heat for being politically incorrect. Or, <laughs> too controversial. Just remember when I say it, it's a joke, okay? It's the morning show. I might not agree with what I say. I could change my opinion tomorrow. Our point is to make you giggle. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Don't take us seriously. <laughs> Seriously. And please know that half of the stories we do, I mean, the, the base is true, but then we ham them up. We have changed the facts to protect the innocent. <laughs> All right. So yeah. I, I think I finished the zoo story. Were we done with that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the Geriatric. Geriatric lions. lions, and he's sorry. Yeah. So here you go. Well, 
to go rub a cat's butt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Big cat. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to skip the ones about the hikers. and what? Okay. We'll save it for tomorrow. Oh, okay. First date, hiking. Got lost. We'll save oh, it for tomorrow. Quite, all right. Quite fun. Officials say UC Berkeley's Botanical Garden say the garden, and we've covered this each year that we've been on the air, uh, says the garden had its busiest day of the morning a decade as people flock to get a whiff of the corpse flower. Remember the corpse flower? Uh. The flower that smells like death. <laughs> it's a plant known for its pungent odor. Why would uh, somebody want to smell a flower that smells like a dead body? Because it stings. It stings the nostrils. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's quite pungent. <laughs> Aromatic. Let's oh, yeah. got to be politically correct about this. It's aromatic. All right. In a vulgar way. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like a dead body. We've already covered the dead body thing. I wonder how many gothic mm. freaks flock to something yes. like that. I want to smell a dead yeah, body flower. It's not a dead body. It's a brisket. <laughs> Let's call it the cadaver flower. <laughs> <laughs> Let's call it Scott's feet. Oh. Uh, that troll right. toe. So if you want to, you know, pretend you're smelling the corpse flower, just close your eyes, Gene. I'll take off my shoe. Ew. Put my scrunchy little troll foot right up under your nose. Oh, gross. All okay. right. All right. Now I'm gonna go horse here. <laughs> you want me to play the the? You want me to play the 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 cat the cat ball? Uh, like sure. Yeah. All right. KPBX TV reports <laughs> that the Samaritan Titanium Aram, nicknamed Trudy, came into full bloom on Sunday and brought about a thousand visitors visitors to see the stinky flower. To see Trudy. That's right. Garden wrote on Twitter that the plant would be smelly on Sunday. It'll be smelly on Sunday, and then uh, go limp by Monday. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I was saving that one for Jean. I knew it would get her. I knew it would get her. I knew it would. I knew it would. I knew it would. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm uh, editing myself very effectively. Thank you. I, I have, I'm learning to learning? Like, use that filter that is supposed to be there between the brain and the mouth. Oh, wow. She's like a dolphin. Who can be taught. <laughs> ooh, ooh. That's a seal, Jean. All right, we'll go back to school okay. later on. Okay. <laughs> like a seal now. Oh, okay, she's yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay. Wow, well, that's the worst seal hey, ever. My kids saw seals over the weekend. They did. Yeah, because we were in the at the Puget Sound. All right. Yeah. Does it smell Puget? <laughs> oh no, no, that's pungent. <laughs> all, all right. Yeah, all I know it was so cold, and we were camping, and it was raining, and it was the Puget Sound. I couldn't take a bath. You know what's funny though is, is that cold. coast of Washington, smelly, smelly, smelly. Get into Oregon, about halfway do, going down Oregon, smelly, 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 and then you get about midway in Oregon through California, beach smells good. Oh, I it's didn't. Dem- different temperature, maybe. I didn't notice. Oh, it's like mainly in the spring. Oh, yeah, okay. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like dead fish. Yeah. <laughs> All I know is the weather was bad enough. It reminded me why I never want to live there again. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. I think we're off We're off track. Yes, we are. Thank okay. you very much. Can I get back on track now? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> that sound effect just gets her. Here we go. <laughs> Covered this last week. Swiss cows, right? Swiss cows, way too hot. Nothing more like than hot cows. Mm. All right. Swiss cows, way too hot. <laughs> So the Swiss Army was called in to cool off those Swiss cows, yeah. and they did it with water hoses <laughs> instead of their leader hoses. <laughs> yeah, and there was so there was some music in the background where they were washing them down, going. All right, my suggestion was, of course, how to cool off the cows. I don't remember. Punch holes in them. They're Swiss cows. Oh, they make Swiss yeah. cheese. Punch some holes in them. You, what what, hap- what do you get when you milk a Swiss cow? <laughs> I know. Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese. Uh, well, that's. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Ew. All right, Swiss Army they helicopters. Have mastitis, yeah. Do they get Swiss yeah. cheese? <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on. Helicopters. <laughs> helicopters. <laughs> Does that hurt? Not yet. It will though. <laughs> Swiss Army helicopters have crossed into France, and I think there's gonna go. I think France and the Swiss are going to war. Should last about thirty seconds. They can throw cows at each other. That's right. Because the Swiss don't have guns, and the French are chickens. Right. <laughs> They'll throw chickens. The Swiss will throw cows. <laughs> Who's going to win? Apocalypse cow. Our, uh, apocalypse have, cow will the win. The Swiss have apocalypse, apocalypse cow. Apocalypse cow. <laughs> She's 40 feet tall. Shoots fire from her teats. All right. There's Swiss army. Every- <laughs> There's fire everywhere, my friend. Run. It's apocalypse cow. Okay. Right. Back to the story. <laughs> Where, wow. What have we been drinking this morning? 
like 20 <laughs> minutes of rambling. <laughs> All right. Swiss Army helicopters have crossed the, the French-Swiss border in an unexpected incursion to help thirsty Swiss cows. <laughs> Unexpected incursion. That's yeah. what they called it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Aerial operations to scoop up water caught authorities responsible uh, for Rouse's Lake and the Euro Mountains by surprise last Thursday. The helicopters also startled swimmers and fishermen enjoying the beaches of the lake in eastern <laughs> France. Christopher Mathis, the deputy mayor of Les Rosses Commune, said officials had no idea the operation would occur and that the Swiss neither requested authorization nor warned before descending their helicopter. They only have one, and they're using it to wash their cows. <laughs> Swiss media reported that the country's military did, in fact, ask for permission, but it was from the French Air Force, not local authorities or the police. Oh, no, no. And, and they don't communicate wow. very well. Have you heard the French talk? We don't know he. Pas le français? No. All right. So there you go. That's the extent of our French. Right? That's the extent of our French. Me, <laughs> we. And, and that's the extent of the cow story. Oh, good. Yeah. Until next week. Well, looks like the cows have come home to roost. And maybe next week they'll punch the holes in them and we can finish that story. Yeah. All right. No, no. Next week they will actually start a war over the the hot Swiss cows. The hot Swiss cows. Mm -hmm. Get myself a hot Swiss cow. <laughs> <laughs> we mail need... mail order bride. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. She's messy, but I love her. And she makes great cheese. Uh, uh, we need to get out of this. That's your odd news for Tuesday. <laughs> you know, before this is over, I'm going to need a whole lot of serious therapy. Look at my eye twitching. Died last night in my dreams. Walking the streets of summer.